fingerprints are unique. Well, first of all, they aren't all that unique. Secondly, all of us believe that it's impossible to fake a fingerprint. Your fingerprint is yours for life. That's another myth that is there. Okay, it's very very easy to fake a fingerprint. And in fact, I have uh, my wife's fake fingerprint over here. <laughs> Of course, it's only my wife. So, <laughs> so uh, this is what a biometric authentication reader is. And I have ripped it up uh, out of all its fancy housing and put it outside so that you can see what it is actually. Uh, when you place your finger, you know, blue light means OK. I have been restored inside. If I put another finger or somebody else places a finger which is not registered, it gives a red light saying it's not okay. The UIDI uh, uses a slightly uh, different process in that the data you capture from here will be sent to some place, God even knows where, and then it will verify whether it's okay or not okay, and it will say okay here, and then uh, you get your ration or your money or whatever else. Okay. Now, the presumption is that since it cannot be fake, the person who is standing here is the one who is actually entitled to that, uh, receiving that particular subsidy of the state, which is absolutely wrong. Okay? You can absolutely fake a fingerprint, as I will show you. Once you fake a fingerprint, like somebody robs your password, email password, okay, you cannot recall. So when you lose your password or your, somebody fakes your password, you simply uh, tell your system administrator or tell your Google Gmail and they'll change your password and then you can use the new password. So nothing much lost, maybe a day or two of no emails. If somebody has proofs your fingerprints, there is no way you can withdraw it. Essentially, you cannot use your fingers ever again. Either you chop your fingerprints and put something else, or just forget about being identified at all. Okay, That is the biggest single drawback of the in the technical uh, thing about the UID at all. You cannot use fingerprints for authentication, full stop. There is no if, there is no buts. There is no, if the technology was this, that and the other, it would do this, that. no. Okay? So I am just going to show you a fake fingerprint. So tell what you are doing, no? Okay. The fingerprint readers use skin conductivity to check that it's a real person's finger and not a fake like this. But a very simple desi method, you simply breathe onto that moisture from your body which is also at the right temperature by the way, deposits itself on this and fools the fingerprint reader. Some check for temperature, some check for uh, moisture and some check for both. So either way you can fool both the mechanisms very easily like what I am doing right now. Uh, this particular scan has gone dry now because I made it a couple of months back for another demonstration. So I am just reacting it. And how you made yeah. this, uh, that's also very easy, right? Yeah, yeah coming to that. Yeah. As you can see, yeah. authenticating perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, so, my wife is here. <laughs> Actually, she's somewhere else. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, how he made it, how yeah. Made it. Yeah. 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 So the process. Did you, take it, did you take it with her permission? Cheating a system. One is a cooperative thing, like here. My yeah. wife readily accepted, I told her we will loot ICICI bank, she said, okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's a cooperative, uh, uh, it's very good for the spoofer, but unfortunately when the system gets compromised like this, everybody's data is in doubt, everybody can deny. Okay. Uh, the second is non-cooperative, where you hold a glass, um, anything you touch, you are leaving a fingerprint. So if you held a glass and you kept it down, I can simply uh, use cyanide prelate or a film to extract that, then use uh, some techniques uh, to transfer that onto a film, either by photograph or by uh, what is known as a photocopying process. The photocopier deposits uh, those particular lines, then an etch uh, copper clad laminate, which is available at laminate control, and then I repeat the same process. The, the cost of 
non cooperative spoofing is expensive it will cost you about 250 rupees the cost of this is not expensive yeah relatively expensive the cost of cooperative spoofing per person yes to cost 30 rupees okay what you need is a small container a typical mati in the house okay a candle melt the candle wax into the container okay i i didn't want to spoil a nice mati so i have used a ever ready battery ka <laughs> container okay pour the wax inside uh, melt it wait until it becomes semi solid uh, if you all of you have noticed that wax uh, after it cools at a certain temperature it's warm not hot and it's not hard it's very malleable at that point when you press your finger you get impressions like this if you see closely you'll be able to see and your fingerprint templates are left on to that in that you buy a 10 rupee ferricol tube and you pour pour the ferricol inside that okay in a nice layer and let it dry okay it becomes something like this uh, you can see the sh shining thing here okay there were two one i extracted today morning at st jeeves one is still there okay so i can peel that off and it'll come like a skin like this okay now ferricol has a very nice characteristic of absorbing moisture and retaining moisture so it, even after it dries i breathe and breathe on to this it become nice and temperature right temperature right moisture and spoof the system okay wait until it dries it takes about uh, 8 hours 9 hours to dry which is why i can't do a live demo other than if, if, if i research maybe i'll get ingredients with dry faster so next time maybe i'll live demo so peel it off use it and that's it you can spoof anybody single okay thank you no basis whatsoever and least of all for authentication uh, fingerprint systems are my business they work very very well in uh, for a small subset uh, of people in a tightly controlled environment so for example if i put up fingerprint readers here uh, you can't spoof because if you happen to spoof there also be a counter it will tell me that there were there are 10 people there and 11 fingerprints so i know that somebody is fake on the exit i'll keep a card with a gun and it goes uh, fine okay so that's all the problem completely of security <laughs> Ha 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 